Well, hello there and welcome to DIY Design by CCW. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Well, today I am going to be sharing with you an easy fall glam DIY. So here you see I have some thrifted uh, cylinders that um, I found at my local thrift shop and also a couple of Dollar Tree pieces. And I'm going to be using this beautiful copper paint uh, made by folk art and i'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own glam fall decor so the first thing i'll do here is as you can see i'm kind of stirring up the paint and uh, we're going to get started now i like to use uh, a uh, nylon or rather an acrylic uh, a brush that's intended for acrylic rather and uh, just makes the job go a little bit easier and we're going to do a little reverse painting technique for these cylinders so i'm using a uh, extended handle brush and what i'm going to be doing is painting these vases or these cylinders on the inside now the reason i do that um, and when i choose to do it this way or why I would choose to do it this way is that um, it creates that nice glassy looking finish on the outside. Many times when you paint glass, no matter how good of a paint job you do, um, the glass, even though this is a metallic paint, doesn't always have that sheen that you want. And I do want these cylinders to have a nice uh, finished look, a nice sheen. So I'm going to do the painting on the inside. Now, if you decide to do this and you do this reverse painting technique, know that if you're planning to fill your vase or your cylinders with any sort of water or use it, you know, for flowers or floating candles, what you want to do is make sure you spray the paint after it sets a couple of days and use a, a sealant like a Krylon clear uh, sealant to coat the paint so that it stays put and uh, the water doesn't uh, cause the paint to lift or, or flake away. Now, if you're not going to put any water inside of the container, then you won't have to do that. So again, this process is really easy. As you can see, all I did was just stroke the paint on, keeping my brush strokes as even as possible. And again, I let the first uh, coat dry overnight and uh, then I come back the next day and do two additional coats and there you go. And when I do that, uh, I let the second and third coat dry at least a couple of hours in between each. Now I did the same process as you can see for the little Dollar Tree containers. I'm also painting them on the reverse or the inside. Uh, again, keeping my brush strokes as even as possible so that that first coat gives, I get the most complete you know coverage that I can and then I will come back and do a second and a third coat and then these pieces will be ready for a little bit of glam uh, of course you know I'm going to add just a little bit of bling and uh, glam them up just a little bit So now that the paint is dry on my pieces, what we're going to do is just add a little bit of bling. Now I am going to do this with silver. I like the copper with the crystal or the silver accents. So I'm using this beautiful rhinestone trim that is made by Additions, or rather, I'm sorry, it's made by Joanne Fabrics. And um, I've used this before. I use it quite a bit. It's one of my favorite trims. And I'll make sure that I leave the information for this trim down in my description box. So I'm going to start by placing a row around the bottom of my cylinder. And uh, what I like to do is go over the uh, piece just to make sure everything is, is a you know, attached and, and flat as, as possible. Um, I'll have to come back. I think you maybe can see there's a little gap opening up there at the bottom. I'll come back and close that a little bit. But that's it. You just want to place your, your trim and uh, make sure that you don't have any excess glue anywhere and uh, work it over. 
uh, as best you can with your hands or if you have finger cots like I'm you see me wearing there uh, you can use those just to make sure that everything's even and that you're going to get uh, a good adherence now I'm doing the same thing for the top I'll measure that trim and uh, apply it to the top using the same process and then we'll move on and add a little bit more uh, bling to this cylinder Now we're going to add a little bit of additional bling. Now initially I was thinking of placing the some additional bling sort of on a diagonal um, for the cylinder, but instead I'm going to go with my tried and true vertical application. And uh, there you see me measuring uh, so that I get just the right length. Now I'm going to turn the cylinder on its side and uh, begin to place my vertical pieces. Now for the center of the vertical piece, I've decided to use a slightly different trim just to give a little bit of contrast. It's very similar, uh, but it is made slightly different. And this particular trim is made by Additions. Uh, and uh, still I did purchase it from Joanne Fabrics. So once I make sure that it is secure and straight, I'll go ahead and add a piece to either side uh, and then you know we'll do a little bit more uh, add a little bit more embellishment and then we'll move on to our next piece.
Right, now since I did the exact same process uh, for each of the cylinders, for all three, I'm deciding to go ahead and move on to one of the Dollar Tree pieces to show you what I did for those, uh, for those uh, pieces. So again, following sort of the same pattern, what I'm going to do is add that same rhinestone trim to the top and the bottom of each of the cylinders and then we're going to add a little bit uh, of uh, extra bling. You know, of course, it's me. I've got to have a little extra bling. But I'm going to follow the same pattern and just kind of scale it down a little bit since these uh, cylinders are off obviously a lot smaller. So I'll let you watch me do this, and then I will come back when we move on to the next part of the DIY.
so now we're going to make just some simple lids for our little storage our little dollar tree storage containers now i'm going to do these lids a little different than what i've done in the past these are going to be custom meaning that normally um, i will take either cake board or something like that and cut out a custom uh, shape for my lid actually these lids are going to be just a little bit different i'm using these wooden blocks and uh, i'm covering them with uh, some mirror paper and then i'll add another layer uh, of mirror on top of that a little trim to that and uh, of course i'll add a crystal knob now off camera what i did to prep these little blocks is i did paint uh, the edges and uh, or looks like I did do it on camera sorry uh, first thing I'm going to do is paint the edges I should say uh, with the copper paint so that if anything shows through the exposed uh, edge that's going to be just under the bling wrap you'll see copper now I'm going to be using these lids uh, they're going to be dual purpose I'm going to use them for something else too so that's the reason I'm not making them uh, custom fit for these particular uh, uh, pieces and I may come back later and do custom fit pieces because I do like that I like them to look like they were made you know for the piece but anyway you get to see this process now using this mirror paper um, you know makes it look a little bit different uh, once you peel off the film as you can see it does look like mirror and I really didn't have to add a mirror I just wanted that extra layer um, and there I'll just add me add another mirror to this and then glue on uh, my round crystal knob I'll also I believe I did it off camera but I'll also add just a little row of trim around the edge and uh, then we'll be these will be done so after this guys hang on because it'll be time for the final reveal right and this is the finish look um i think these i like these i really do i think i'm going to be using them in my, in my uh, fall decor uh there's a close-up of the cylinders now let's take a closer look at everything so there you can see uh, i repeated the same decor for all three cylinders and uh, i'm using a taller a medium and a short one you know for my look and i think that's going to make for a nice centerpiece um, i do like that i decided to add the extra crystals there i think um, that gave the rhinestones a little bit more pop um, now there's a close-up here of the dollar tree cylinders and if you'll notice by painting on the inside see how that glass reflects it, it just makes the paint look completely different so if you want a different look and you are hand painting or spray painting uh, glass to you know like pieces like this try doing it on the inside rather than the outside so that you don't have that mate matte uh, finish and um, because even with the metallic paints you will still have that now there you see a uh, close-up of the lids now guys these lids if you look there in the inside i've placed uh, crystals and the reason the crystals are there is to keep the lid from sliding off so if you notice these lids are a little bit larger than these containers again i'm going to be using these lids for another diy i may come back and make uh, custom fit lids for these but for now i think they work um, and I do love the look. I love, again, the crystals and the rhinestones. And I'm just all about the bling. So um, there can almost never be too much bling for me. But you guys let me know what you think. And if you like these DIYs, these are really easy. You don't need a lot of skill level uh, to do it. And I think that you'll have, an, in the end, a nice piece that you can use in your fall decor.
Now, guys, if you're not a member of this channel and you've watched the video to the end, or if you are a member, thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a member, I hope that you'll consider subscribing today. I would love to have you be uh, a member of the family. Now, here, uh, what I'm showing you is some pieces that I've done uh, in similar tones. Those are copper pieces, and notice those have the paint on the outside. Uh, I'll make sure that I link those in the description box. That piece there is with a fire opal color. I'm going to be doing some more fire opal decor uh, with some of my fall DIYs very shortly. And, uh, and there you have it. But again, if you're not a member of the channel, I would love to have you consider subscribing. And also, if you get a chance, please go visit my other channel, which is Tablescapes by Candy, where you'll get to see me do uh, tablescapes with a lot of the decor I create on this channel. So again, like I say at the, every, at the end of every video, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night. See you in the next video.